Hey everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at the New World Development Update that came out earlier in February 16th, 2021. Uh, I took a little bit to let everybody, you know, throw their videos out there, and now I want to throw mine out there. Uh, you know, having six videos to watch right when an update comes out isn't always the best. Actually waiting and watching other people's videos and understanding, you know, what the update's all about before putting out a video, um, you know, listening to more of the feedback from, you know, uh, the new world developers themselves. It's always a good idea to do occasionally. Uh, usually I do like to throw my update videos out right away uh, with the rest of these YouTubers, but uh, this time I waited a little bit just so I could give you guys the full mix of what's going on. I'm going to put the new world video here now playing through the updates, um, and then I'll talk about them after this video. Hi there, I'm Scott Lane, Game Director on New World. I'm here to talk to you about our progress, our plans, and our launch date. So last summer we communicated that New World would launch this spring and that the team was going to focus on adding more mid and end game content. Since then we've identified a few very compelling features that just wouldn't make that time frame. And we believe these features are going to transform the game, so we're going to take the time to add them before we put New World in your hands. New World's going to launch August 31st, 2021. This gives us not only enough time to implement those features, but to tune and polish them along with the entire experience. Closed beta is going to be on July 20th, and I really hope some of you come take an early look at the game. I'd like to take a few minutes and share what we're going to be working on between now and launch. First, we're adding another endgame zone, Ebon Scale Reach. This is a territory of lush wetlands and towering cliffs where an exiled empress is building a corrupted fleet that could be a threat to the entire world. Now onto those features. First one I want to talk about is Expeditions. These are five player instance adventures into the darkest corners of Eternum where players are going to face the most dire threats on the island and uncover more layers into the mysteries of the lore, including secrets behind the source of the corruption, the ulterior motives of the angry earth, and the deeper menace behind the soul is lost. So now I'd like to tell you just a little bit about Outpost Rush. Outpost Rush is an end game mode that calls players to a primordial river basin filled with forgotten ancient technologies and hidden sources of the powerful and volatile Azoth. Here you're gonna battle in 20 versus 20 teams over multiple strongholds, and you're gonna use strategic resources not only to fortify your positions, but to boost your power for assaults. Expeditions and Outpost Rush are big features for us leading up to launch, but we've also made a lot of progress since the preview event. I'm sure some of you have played or seen Reekwater, an endgame zone we added. We've also added fishing, we've done a full revamp to crafting, we added hundreds and hundreds of weapons and gear pieces, we've really improved combat, and we've added a lot of quest variety. All of this is in direct response to your feedback from the preview. And let me tell you, there's a lot more to come. For those of you who played in the preview event, I think you're really going to enjoy the changes and additions we've made. Getting our mid and end game right is critical to the game experience, and adding new features, it takes time. At the end of the day, shipping a high quality, polished experience is our top priority, and we plan to do just that. So like you heard Scott Lane just discuss, uh, unfortunately, the game, like we all know, is going to be delayed. August 31st, 2021 is when the game will re actually release. And then uh, July 20th is when the closed beta will actually release for us. So um, we do have to wait a little bit longer, but that actually might be worth it with, you know, some of the new things that, you know, they have discussed. So we have Ebon Scale Reach, an end game zone that just kind of, um, you know, they released to us here. It's filled with lush wetlands and towering cliffs. Ebon Scale Reach is a new end game zone in Eternum, an exiled empress. It is building a corrupted fleet there that could threaten the entire world. Um, and then Scott Lane talks about the expeditions. These are five player instance adventures that will take you to the darkest corners of Eternum. There you'll face a dire threat. Learn more about the source of corruption and expose the angry earth's ulterior motives and reveal the deeper menace behind the lost. Expect difficult battles that will challenge your group, requiring skill and coordination to achieve victory. So, I mean, those two alone awesome i mean just absolutely awesome i can't wait to play uh you know 
mostly expeditions I don't really know about. Uh, Evan Scale Reach yet it sounds cool, but uh, obviously we'll have to go in there to actually see if uh, it's worth the hype. But now let's check the third and final one. It's the Outpost Rush. This is going to be a big thing for PvP players. Um, these are 20v20 battles set in a primordial river basin filled with forgotten ancient technologies and hidden sources of Azoth. You and your team will vie for control of strongholds and strategic resources. You'll need all your combat powers and uh, collective wits to win. Um, so these are three pretty cool things that they released. Um, at least they're doing stuff with the time that they are pushing us back a little bit. Uh, you know, I'm not too angry about it. Uh, we've waited this long. Why not wait a little bit longer to make sure the release is actually well done and well thought out? So I'm okay with this update, and I'm actually kind of excited for the expedition specifically. I love open world content, but I do think there should be some instance, instant, I can't even say the word, instanced content as well. Um, so like I said, I'm, I'm good with this content, and uh, I do hope there's some small-scale PvP that they do add to the game, as Outpost Rush is great, and it is a little bit smaller than, you know, the 50v50 or, you know, something like that, but 20v20 is still large, and I want to see something where there's, you know, 2v2s or 3v3s or maybe even 5v5s, something a lot smaller um, usually adds more skill to the game and where you have more of an impact. If you're the best player, you could still lose a 20v20 because, you know, you're against 20 other players that could be, you know, right below you in the skill level. And, uh, you know, maybe you're 19 or holding you back just a little bit. But I would love to see a small scale battle, uh, you know, where that one person could maybe outmaneuver and outplay, you know, the other three on the other team all by himself. Um, so hopefully we see some small scale PvP coming in the future. But overall, this is a great update. And, uh, you know, I'm okay with the delay, like I said, a couple times. Um, and I hope to guys. I hope to see you in Eternum on that closed beta release in uh, you know July 20th. I'm very excited for that, and I'll see you guys in the next one.